great. Thank you. Sorry, caught me fixing my eyeliner again. That is okay. Um, I actually thought that I was the early one for once. Uh, I took a look at your social media. It's really cool. Especially, like, all of the stuff you've been making. Thanks. I didn't notice the blitz of likes. It was pretty full on. Uh, so, um, have you had many orders to process this week? Lots. Plus, um, a celebrity client requested a piece. I turned it down. Why? That's a great coup, surely. They demanded to skip the queue. I owe too much to my core clients to drop them for an impatient prima donna. Anyways, Mercury is in retrograde, so hassle was expected. Tell me about your week. So, um, Mercury in retrograde? Yeah. What about it? I have heard of it, but I don't, I don't really know much actually about it. It's an optical illusion where the planet Mercury appears to move backwards in the sky. It happens three or four times a year. And it basically just messes with technology and life. <laughs> I can't say that I've noticed too much disruption to my life. <laughs> Aside from me entering it. So, uh, do you want a drink? Love a drink. <laughs> Hiya. In here. <laughs> it's a cool place, though. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes, cheers, cheers. Do you know what I've just realised? Speed dating is great because you jump straight into the face-to-face -face so it eliminates any possibility of false advertising. Mostly. I am a saleswoman, though. Oh, so you're a good liar. Well, we put that to the test. Let's play a quick game of two truths and a lot. I've played eh? that in years. Okay, okay. I'll go first. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> I can speak three languages. My cousin was my prom date because nobody asked me. And growing up, I had a guinea pig called Chuckles, which is the lie. That is quite a spread. Uh, I don't know which one I want to be the lie. Um, the Chuckles one is the lie. I just I, I, I can't see it. You're very wrong. Chuckles existed and lived a long, happy life. Prom date's the lie. I went with my best mate, Danny. You know, we had the best time out of everyone. No drama. Just good vibes. Exactly. <laughs> you know, Danny was worth all the boys at school more. Should I be worried about Danny? <laughs> He's gay as Christmas. Your turn. I have a third nipple. I have climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. I am a king fisherman. Tough ones. The nipple is the lie. <laughs> I just can't see it. Are you imagine me topless just there? Purely for the purposes of the game. Don't flatter yourself. You say so. <clears throat> Correct. I am a dual nippled man. I'm really impressed the Kilimanjaro one's true. Mm. <laughs> it takes so much to achieve those physically and, you know, mentally demanding feats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just an amazing life experience. Um, uh, the fishing one is also true. Let's not talk about that. Okay. Round two. Go for it. Okay. My parents met on the set of a porn film. My real name isn't Azalea. My body count is more than 20. Is there one you want to pick the line? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Very carefully. Your parents met in a porno set. Surely that is a lie. <laughs> this is actually true. Don't get too excited. They weren't starring in it. So basically, my mum was a makeup artist and my dad owned the studio it was being filmed in. The body count one's a lie. So your name isn't really Azalea? I'll explain another time. And I've gone by Azalea for a decade now. Your turn. I have octophobia, which is a fear of the number. I need 10 hours sleep a night. I collect novelty coasters. The coasters is the lie. It's the most boring. Oh, can't all be as interesting as you. Yawn. <laughs> Was I right? Yeah. I'm only mildly boring. No. Oh. I was bluffing. I'm a collector myself. Of? Clocks. And crafty ones, oh. little things. <laughs> Very cute. I recently got this 
amazing cuckoo clock from Freiburg in Germany. And uh, the eight was particularly well made. So octophobia is a thing. <laughs> Shame about the 10 hours, though. I work at night, so I have irregular sleep patterns. Yeah. I need my sleep, so. <laughs> I was a junior clay pigeon shooting champion. Mm. I have more piercings that can't be seen than can. And I'm allergic to bullshit. Is this a trick one? I don't know what you're talking about. Bullshit is the line. Wrong. I am totally allergic to bullshit. Very witty. No. Literally. You are literally allergic to the shit that comes out the back of a bull. I discovered it the hard way, cleaning out the stables at my uncle's farm. Um, that's also where I learned clay pigeon shooting, but I never touch a gun now. That sounds like an interesting childhood. So that means that the piercings are the lie, right? Surprising, eh? Did you have some good mental images, though? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't even give it a moment's thought. Can I loop back to the fact that your name isn't actually Azalea? I'm not a habitual liar, I promise. Just ask me anything. You're deflecting. <sighs> I said I'd explain another time, and there's plenty more to learn about me anyway. I want to know what you are really passionate about, Azalea. Good one. Doesn't get asked enough. Um, I've dabbled in all sorts, so whilst my business is what I enjoy at the moment, I know it won't last forever. You get bored easily? No, it's just I'm still searching for my true passion. Yeah, no, I get that. Well, I hope you find it soon. Thanks. So... Lad! Where are you? Why did you get that drunk in a place Lad. like this? Hey. <laughs> Sorry, love. Looks like you could use a bit of extra colour on that Halloween costume. <laughs> Oi! Prick! That's not on. Are you really gonna come at me like this? Yeah, it's Elliot. Leave. I can handle myself, Ryan. Listen to your boyfriend, Lady Dracula. You've got a big mouth, haven't you? Yeah, I'm very witty. Azalea, it is not worth it. Wait till you just piss off. Wait, Azalea, wait! Nailed it, babe. Maybe you should just let her handle herself. The guy was huge. I mean, I had to do something. I just thought I could try and talk her down a little bit and maybe it would just diffuse the situation, but I, I don't know. She clearly wanted to do things her way, so... She didn't need protecting. Well... <laughs> Not from you, anyway. <laughs> Although she'd probably fight better than me, so... Yeah, most people would. Yeah, you included. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna say goodnight to you now because... Mm -hmm. You're just not helping me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. So? Mm. Who's getting the third date? Well... Misha, um... You clearly haven't been paying much attention. It didn't go very well. I don't have any options. Are you? Back to the drawing board? Ah, oh, I blame you. Why me? Because you brought me to this speed dating event. Yeah, but it was your personality that to talk to them all. Thanks. No, that's great. No, I'm just actually <laughs> going to finish this drink and I'm just going to go on the streets. That would be really nice. <laughs> Thank you.